I just saw the movie Chaos Walking. Is this movie a sign of the awakening of human consciousness or a sign of our demise on its way? Hi, I'm Tim. This is Selfless Awakening where I talk about crazy stuff like this, metaphysics, personal growth, mindfulness, motorcycles sometimes. <laughs> if you're into this kind of stuff, click on the little uh, subscribe and uh, the little notification bell so you can stay up to date on my latest stuff, okay? All right, let me get into this here. Uh, saw this movie, I was watching it with my girlfriend, Jesse last night, and um, it's very interesting. I believe this movie is a sign of the evolution of human consciousness, not a sign of our demise, and here's why. This movie reminds me of some of the trends that I'm seeing more and more of in pop culture, in Hollywood, uh, movies, TV shows, things like this, where there's starting to be this insertion of these sort of deep mindfulness, self-awareness concepts sprinkling their, themselves into uh, uh, pop, pop media. For instance, the movie The Matrix. That movie is not just some futuristic movie, obviously. That movie's about some other shit going on with like learning how to detach from your thoughts, realizing that there is this world out there that has a lot more to do with what, how we label it than what it actually is, like this kind of uh, pushing back on reality a bit. Matrix is a big one like this. The, the kids' movie Inside Out that movie about where um, it's about this girl who all of her emotions are personified and there's this deep awareness of emotions like it's kind of putting a, the lens on our emotions and our inner world as opposed to making it all about the outer world. This movie Chaos Rising is in the same lineage of one of those types of movies and here's how. In the movie it's set in the future uh, like uh, Two, 200 and I don't know, almost 30 years in the future, I think, something close to like that. And uh, human civilization has found itself on this planet where, for whatever reason, when men go down there, they have this, it makes them have this thought cloud and all of their thoughts, like another voice speaking, like, hey, you shouldn't go in there, or, oh, she's really hot, you know, it's like, there's this voice in the head that just is talking, which, by the way, we all have that, obviously. Some people don't know we have a voice in the head chatting all the time, commenting on the world. They're not even aware. They don't have the self-awareness of the inner stuff to know that, you know, when you're walking around in your everyday life, everybody has this voice in the head going on. And this movie was calling it out a bit. It was, it was putting right as part of the main storyline this idea that we have an, a voice in our head that's chattering all the time. And that's a big part of this like personal growth, mindfulness, the awakening process. A big part of the awakening process is waking up to that. Like, oh my God, I've got someone chatting in there all the time. When we're not awake, we don't even know it. We're walking around thinking that that voice in the head is going to say whatever it's going to say. We have no ability to be the author of it or change it. We have no agency of it. It's just going to do what it does. And out of that comes all of our decisions. Like, that's kind of how life society is pre-awakening and now this awakening stuff is like wait a minute I can pop out of my thoughts I can become aware of the voice in the head and that's not me that's a separate thing and this is another piece of media where you can see it the equivalent of the way that you would if you have a dog you sneak the medicine into the dog food so the dog eats it and they don't know they're eating it this is another what feels like tactical way that some writers in Hollywood or some uh, uh, directors are like, hmm, I've had this deep discoveries through mindfulness, meditation, whatever. How do I get this into the media? Uh, how do I get this into the collective consciousness? What a lot of people have found, including Tom Bill Yu, who's somebody I highly recommend you follow. He does a lot of like uh, self-actualization work. His show, Impact Theory, is all about just becoming your next level badass self. Like, how do you evolve to a level where you're truly like doing your best. Like Tom Bilyeu is huge on that and his mission in life, he wants to create a new Disney. He wants to create a new Disney where, like a, a, the equivalent of Disney basically, he wants to create this like huge media thing that's going to create lots of content and his mission is to try to do exactly this kind of thing that Chaos Rising is doing where it's inserting inside of the collective consciousness this ability to become more self-aware, to become more detached from these ideas you thought you had about yourself 
yourself and learn how to actually substitute ideas about yourself that are going to serve you to get what you want. Tumblr use mission is that where it's like create cool content that then can help people and put out this idea of awakening, but in a way that they can digest. Because if you're a person who's gone through any of these self-awareness discoveries that you may have through deep Zen meditating or really like hardcore um, recovery work and AA, things like that, where you have huge self-awareness discoveries. If you're anybody that's been through that stuff like that, you know that when you try to talk to someone about this kind of stuff, they don't like to talk about it unless they need it, unless they're in a place where they're starting to actually wake up. They're starting to detach from the voice in their head and get to a place where they're understanding, wait a minute, if there is a voice in the head going and I can be the witness of that, then maybe I'm not that voice in the head. Maybe I'm whatever the hell is listening. And you start having, that's like the biggest sort of goosebumpy, oh my God, how do I live my life after I've had that discovery type of a thing. And this movie is pushing to that. It's pushing to this idea of, of I'm not the voice in my head, I'm detaching from it. Now, in the movie, I have to say this, he is still very much thinking he's the voice in the head. He, and it's a very immature, like, uh, awakening way that he deals with it. I immature, not awake way he deals with it, which is the voice in the head is always like, shut up, stop thinking about it, stop thinking about it, stop thinking about it. And then, you know, whatever he was trying to hide from whoever he was talking to in the movie, when he tried to not think about it, the more he tried to not think about it, the more he thought about it. And I wish that they had in the movie, this was my one thing that I would have changed if I had written the movie. I would have made it that he was on a hero's journey where he would be, by the end of the movie, learning how to quiet the voice in the head by doing, you know, these deep, these Tumo Tibetan Wim Hof style, you meditate, you clear your thoughts, you learn how to stop the voice in the head like that, you literally can make it not talk. But he didn't have that discovery. That would have been a badass discovery if he did that. If throughout the movie, he was waking up enough to where he was able to go boop and stop the voice in the head so that no one could hear his thoughts anymore because that's possible. I have that skill. I've developed it. You can develop it too. It takes a lot of sitting and stillness. And when the voice talks, you shut it down. When the voice talks, you shut it down until you get to this place where you create these big gaps of nothingness. And that's when shit gets really weird. So, and exciting and amazing and liberating. And so, Anyway, I just wanted to share that, that this is amazing. I'm excited to see more content coming out like this where there's an insertion of self-awareness practices, mindfulness practices, because this is where the happiness is. This is where your life fulfillment is. It's getting out of the story for a minute, getting out of this narrative and getting to a place where you understand, wait a minute, I can change this narrative. I can change the way I perceive my life. And when I perceive my life better, it from a better, when, it, when I perceive what's going on as being better, everything is better. And that's really the trick. That's one of the biggest sort of illusory matrix style things that's going on out there right now around this kind of stuff, you know? So it's like, just develop this ability to pop out. That's the key. And come back in. When you come back in, it's so different. All right, enough of that. So I hope that helps. Uh, again, if you like what I'm talking about, click the buttons, subscribe. I'll be doing more of these videos. Have a great day.